We can dig in political grief. 2023 election between Peter Obi and Turumbo Prophet Oli Jobi. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we we'll post our juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Prophet B.C. Olijob of the Wisdom Church of Christ International in Lagos State has warned Governor Nyesom Wike to thread cautiously. The septuagenarian Sir gave the warning in his prophecies for September issued on Wednesday. The cleric noted that Rivers Houseman is not playing his political game cleverly well and has courted many enemies. Olijobi said the Ravers helmsman has gathered enough cronies who will eventually betray and abandon him to his fate in no distant time. We should be very prayerful and careful. I see a disgraceful political end if he will listen. I will not say anything if it is not from God. On the 2023 presidential election, Olujobi declared it to be between the Labour Party LP flag bearer P2B and that of the All Progressive Congress APC Bola Tunumbu. The prophet insists that the rise of the former governor of Anambra State was an indication that he is the candidate to beat, as God revealed to him. It will be a miracle of a century for Asewaji Bola Ahmed Tunumbu to beat Mr. P2B because of so many avoidable mistakes. Most of the backbones of Tunumbu will betray him at the last minute, as I earlier prophesied. Other factors will be put to a dagger at his ambition, and this will pave the way for B. Olu Jobi earlier called for prayers for banker turned politician to forestall an assassination attempt before next year general elections. The religious leader, however, urged Christians to be prayerful because of a demonic agenda to invade some prayer mountains and worship centers across Nigeria, especially in the southwest. I see a wicked plot of a mini war targeted against the body of Christ. All children of God should be prayerful, watchful, and take their security. Very important. Olujobi advised Nigerian politicians to be prepared for a dangerous revolution that will be bigger than that of Ensar Saga, except they do the needful by righting the wrongs. On Pastor Toby Adegbega of Salvation Proclaimers United Church, United Kingdom, God has directed me to warn him to be very careful. A lot of people around him are not happy with him. There is a strong conspiracy to sell him to the United Kingdom authorities. These eventually will bring a total downfall and disgrace upon his ministry if he is not watchful, the clergyman added. Well, uh, believe you me, I've never been a fan of prophecies. and the, No, 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 no. Believe me, I've never been. I believe the beauty of life is actually in the uncertainties that happen. Yes, I believe the beauty. That is what makes life. Because imagine you being told what is going to happen. To me, it is, if it happens, it's no longer a surprise. I mean, it's no longer what the story. You know? You know what the story of maybe a struggling mother gives back to children. And maybe along the line... You know, the children, the, the children's father died, her husband died, and she gave back to the children. She took care of the children, she gave back to, she kept pushing. One of them grew up, and you know, somehow one of them, you know, you know, broke out and, you know, was able to carry others along. And, you know, they are now, big, they are now the opposite of what they used to be. That is, to me, <laughs> imagine somebody telling them before that Naso go play out. To me, it's like just like a script. Sincerely, I believe the beauty of life, what, is, what makes life interesting is actually the uncertainties. You know, your prophecy based on what you read is on social media. Nothing like God tells you something. P2B is going nowhere. Hmm. All right. Uh... Indeed, sir, what he said about VK is 100% percent. He is not displaying wisdom at all. Amechi is wiser than Wiki by far. Well, if you ask me, I've said it all that, yes, Wiki is actually aggrieved. Yes, you know, he's going about, you know, him being aggrieved the wrong manner. He should or refrain himself from talking. If he knows saying, go talk with his, what he go say. Or if he knows he's so pained. Like I even said, if Namibi Wiki 
you know i can decide okay dpdp has not doing me this kind of thing i will just go back i'm not going to campaign i'll just remain neutral and quiet and observe what is going to happen that is what i'm going to do i won't work against i won't work for i won't work for with 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 them i won't i would go back if you know that stung or that sting of betrayal is still is still very much you know hurting because me i believe wiki is hurting and you know this i'm making him to say such things I still believe he is hot and that is why he is coming out to make some statements he ought not to make. This is what most people said in 2015. Bahari's coming is the beginning. Okay, the coming of Peter will be the beginning of wisdom for the People's Democratic Party and the All Progressive Congress. Let the will of God prevail in Nigeria. And in reply to that, hmm, this is what was written. That is what most people said in 2015. Buhari's coming is the beginning of wisdom. And we have seen the wisdom indeed. We have seen that wisdom indeed. Nigeria is in their need of leadership with experience and capacity and not a trial and error leadership. Now, please, let us wise up and not be carried away. Hmm. I would like to know in what direction he's saying this. There is a big difference between Buhari in 2015 and P2B now. Some crook packaged Buhari and sold him to Nigeria. As a cent, they were the one making empty promises. Buhari was not the one talking then. But P2B has been going around propagating his vision and agenda to the people. And B has been so passionate about bringing a genuine change to Nigeria. The difference is clear. Now, let me say, yes, the difference is clear. Now, this is what I'm going to say. Yes. In 2015, you know, people yearn for change and the APC said they would give Nigeria a change. That is why even Nigerians are holding the APC responsible because I didn't think that Buhari actually came out and said this is what he was actually going to do. I don't think. I think it was the APC, you know, pushing him. That time it was party pushing him and, you know, at the end of the day they were able to, you know, convince Nigerians or majority of Nigerians were now able to vote for, for him. Now, this one is quite different. This is not business as usual. P2B, who is a presidential candidate, is taking time to go to places to advertise himself, to sell his ideas, to sell how he can make Nigeria a better country. And me, I'm saying, because he is the one saying these things, we should vote for someone who are going to be, how am I going to put it, who are going to be able to hold accountable. This one, no be say, tomorrow APC will come and say, eh, you know, uh, nobody did not say this or that, you know, now this person said this or that. Peter B is the one coming out to give, you know, the, 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 the solutions and he's the one giving strategies behind, you know, uh, solutions. So he, he's the one to be held accountable and it is not the same. So I agree with this person. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time.